So I've been using Pinterest wrong for years and I bet you have too. So let's talk about why. And welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and I make videos on thrifting and styling and all things on how to make your life simpler. So today we're going to be talking about Pinterest because I love Pinterest. So I've been using Pinterest for years and when I first discovered Pinterest I developed a very unhealthy obsession. So I wouldn't watch TV in my free time, I would pin. I would pin for hours and I ended up with thousands and thousands of pins. And it got so bad that I ended up with over like 10,000 pins on my style board and it got to the point where I had to delete my Pinterest account because I couldn't find anything. Pinterest is a tool and I was using it wrong. So my Pinterest was super cluttered and it pretty much matched what my wardrobe was. I had way too many ideas, way too many styles, and I couldn't really pinpoint any kind of one style or color theme. And I ended up with just way too much stuff and way too many pins. So after deleting my account, I decided to start fresh. And this time I told myself I wasn't going to let my Pinterest get that bad. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how I currently use my Pinterest board and how it helps me inspire and help me create my capsule wardrobes. And stay tuned to the end where I'll give you a little tidbit. <laughs> a little tiddly wink if you will. <laughs> About Pinterest and how you can find and shop for pieces based on the styles that you like. Let's get into the video. So as I said before, Pinterest is a tool and it kind of serves as two purposes, as inspiration and organization. So think of your Pinterest as a mood board. If you were to physically make a mood board, you wouldn't put a thousand images on it. You just want a few that's gonna really give you an idea of your style and color theme. Pinterest is also a really great way to organize the pieces that you're thinking about buying. Instead of making a physical list of items that you're looking for, you can use your Pinterest board as more of a visual instead of writing down a list. So we're basically getting rid of paper and bulletin boards. Age of the computer. So I'm just gonna show you what this looks like by showing you my Pinterest boards for some inspiration. So the first really big mistake that I made when I started using Pinterest was that I only used one board called style to store any outfit inspiration or things that I liked. And so that included everything from just like weird style trends that I liked to fall to winter. I had vintage, I had boho, I had everything under the umbrella of fashion that basically piqued my interest, I would pin. And that's how I ended up with 10,000 pins. So the biggest change that I started to do was create multiple boards. Think of it as an extension of your wardrobe. Just like how I say that you wanna store seasonal pieces so that you're not constantly looking at every single piece in your wardrobe, you kinda of wanna do the same thing with your Pinterest. So I like to create a fall and winter style and a spring and summer style, which is going to just make it easier as you're looking for inspiration. So if it's the middle of winter, you're not going to be looking for shorts and dresses. And so if you just go to a fall and winter style board, you're only gonna have pieces that are going to be relevant for that season. Another mistake that I see a lot of people do is that they will pin anything under the my style category and they'll have things like hair and accessories and home decor and it just gets so cluttered that it doesn't really help aid you in getting inspiration for your wardrobe or as you purchase things so you'll notice i have things like my home decor like i have a bedroom uh, board which is just where i keep things for bedroom inspiration same thing with like kitchen and dining, I like to separate that one out, living room. I just like to separate those things out just so they're not mixed into my fashion categories. And then I of course like to break down my fall and winter style and my spring and summer style. Something else that I like to do, and I've just recently started doing this, is having a spring and summer capsule board and a fall and winter capsule board. And what this is, is it's actual pieces that you can buy. So if I'm online shopping on a website or I see something that's an actual something I can buy, instead of putting it in an inspiration board, I put it into its own little separate board where then I can use that when I'm going shopping because then I know, okay, I'm specifically looking for 
a denim jumpsuit instead of just sort of digging through inspiration images you actually know this is something specific that I'm looking for so let's just go into my fall and winter style board and as you can see I only have about a hundred pins right now um, in this board and you can kind of see that it's just it's a mix of things it's all kinds of things that I like and as you scroll through, I can really easily go from top to bottom really quick. I'm not scrolling through a thousand pins. And what this does is it gives me just a quick overview of really the color schemes and the styles that I'm loving. And so you can see a lot of very similar things. It's like, okay, I have a lot of quilted jackets, um, a lot of like warm neutral tones, um, jeans and a fun sweater, wide leg crops. Um, and it just gives you a sense of the pieces that you're loving. And so if you're drawn to those pieces on Pinterest, those are things that you can start to look for that you want to bring into your wardrobe. My Pinterest then makes it really easy for me to take this as I go shopping or as I'm looking for new pieces to add into my wardrobe. So this is really helpful, especially for me, because I'm drawn to so many different styles and colors. And sometimes I'll be on Instagram or on Pinterest and I see someone else's style and they're wearing bright pink pants and like a bright red top. And I go into the thrift stores and I see a pair of pink pants and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want those pink pants when it's honestly something that I'm probably not going to wear. And so having my Pinterest board this way really keeps me sort of in check and it just helps me shop mindfully rather than just aimlessly pulling pieces and then I'm gonna regret buying stuff later. So the last thing that I started doing that really helped me was to declutter my Pinterest board. Before when I was using Pinterest, I was afraid to delete anything because I felt like I was never going to find that pin again. Honestly, it kind of works the same way as your wardrobe. It's like the same thing where you hang on to something just because you think you might need it in the future. It works the same way. If you're going through a Pinterest and you have 10,000 images, it really just isn't helpful because you can't find anything specific. So what I've learned to do is to declutter every season. So I'll go through my Pinterest and I'll look through the images and I'll ask myself, does this still fit my style? Does it really spark joy? Or have I sort of evolved in my fashion style and it's not something that's really relevant to me and if it's not then I'll delete it and get rid of it and that's how I've been able to sort of keep my pins down to about a hundred per board instead of getting into the like thousands and now every time I open up my Pinterest I'm looking at a board that totally represents my style and sparks joy and is really inspirational to me and it allows me to go into my wardrobe and create outfits based off of things that really inspire me so if you stuck around to the end of this video, I have a little bonus tip for you on how you can use your Pinterest to help you search for actual pieces that you can buy based off of the styles that you've saved. So if you go to a pin that you've saved, um, let's go to this one for example, there is a little search button um, in the corner of whatever image you've saved and it'll pull up this little search box and you can crop it um, as much as you want. And so let's say you really like this black bag in the image. You can kind of crop it down to just the bag. And if you scroll down, it'll have a visual search. And so it'll pull up actual bags that you could shop for that are really similar to the bag in the, in the photo. And so, you know, there's one from Zara um, and such and so forth. So it kind of goes down and you can do this with anything in the photo. So let's say, say you really liked her shoes. We can go even, you know, we can just bring it down to her shoes and it'll pull up really similar sneakers to the one that she's wearing. And so this is a great option if you see an image that you really like and you wanna try to find something really similar that you can actually buy. Um, this is a good way that you can do it. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, uh, please like the video so that YouTube will show it to more people and someone else can get some help from this video. So I would really like to grow my channel and create a community of people who are interested in fashion and simple living. And so I hope that you will subscribe and become a part of this community. And this might not be how you use Pinterest and that's okay. I wanna hear how you use Pinterest. So leave me a comment down below. I'd love to respond to you and start that conversation. A lot of you liked my last Let's Build a Capsule Wardrobe video. And so next week you can look forward to another one. So that's it for me and we'll see you in the next one.